All right, welcome to the show. My guest today is coming out of Las Vegas, Nevada. He goes by the name of Nico Blue. We talk about his new single body. We talk about music, social media, lots of topics. It's a great conversation. Here's Nico Blue. So Bobby's going to release July 2nd. That's yeah, the big day. July 2nd on all streaming platforms. I'm super excited. What about a music video? Where we at with that? Man, I'm going to be real with you, bro. Um, I was going to shoot a music video to it. Because what, what, what my initial plan was, I wanted to have a music video and song out at the same time. So I originally was going to shoot it about earlier this month and something happened i had a I had an airbnb i had to feed the, the 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 girl that was supposed to be in it and something happened with the director he had to cancel last minute so um right you now, had the airbnb you had the, the, the yeah man. yeah bro for real i had i had everything. what kind of director does that <clears throat> man i don't know but um, you knew this guy? Was he like a friend or you, you reached out to him? Was he like a professional? Uh, he's a friend, you know, he did my last two, two music videos. So that's how, that's how hard sometimes with friends. It could be difficult that, uh, you know, it's yeah. So it is what it is, you know? So, um, everything's happens for a reason. And the girl that was supposed to be in it, cause I wanted to do it cause you know, I wanted to do it after he canceled. I was going to get someone else and um but then the girl had to go to to LA for um until July so that messed up everything I said that, I mean that you know that's man up. I got to wait till she get back and then we can start shooting Hey man, but, but but moving forward, that puts you in a difficult place. But you, you just got so you're just gonna readjust with the schedule and go back to the drawing board and make it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is, man. It is, man. Everything happens for a reason. So but at first, I was hot. I was mad, bro. I was like, "Are you?" It, it was, bro. It was literally the day of the day, the actual day of. Nah, man. I nah. get it. I got a. Te- I got a text. Hey man, I, I got a family issue. I won't be able to make it out. And I'm like, bro, I got this Airbnb and I got come on, man. Bro, I was hot. But I mean that's that's a hot word, family, you know. <laughs> that the thing with that word is, you know, sometimes it gets tossed around and you if it's something serious, it's something serious. But sometimes you just woke up late, you know, God forbid, who knows, man, who knows? But at the end of the day, you must have been hot because you had the spot, you had the it all set, and you have a lot you're balancing, and there's a lot on the balance board. And for something like this to occur is just like worst case scenario. And just thinking Amen. about it, thinking about it, it's just like, all right, Musa, <laughs> you have no idea. I was so excited. The girl was excited. <laughs> Yeah, that just looks bad on you when you didn't really yeah, want me there. You were ready. I was ready, bro. Ready. You, you going to work with this guy again? Or are you guys going to stay friends and just maybe just separate the business side of it? I mean, it, it's cool. You know, I wish him well. You know. You know absolutely. But. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We're well, moving forward. Though, so, new director for the music video, probably. And then yeah. you're going to make it happen yeah. regardless. Yeah. We're going to make it happen. Nice, man. No fact. That's, that's a fact. <laughs> Absolutely. And you know what? Trials and tribulations of being an artist. Everybody's been in situations like that, whether it be a music video. I mean, your case is a big one, the, the, one of the tops. But, you know, we all encounter these difficulties where we got, we, could, we could easily sink down and say, you know what? This isn't even worth it. Like all this play, but you, you have to see it through and just, just keep it moving. That's all it is. As You got to make a lot of mistakes and take all that stuff and just keep moving. Longevity. Yeah. yeah, I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't say anything crazy to him, you know. Um, I just like, you know, um, take care of your family, you know, whatever issue you got going on. And um, I asked him when, you know, when can we reschedule? I never got a reply back. So, you know, I didn't, I, 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 I was mad, but I didn't, you know, say anything else to him. I just let it go. So, um, <coughs> 
And absolutely. I, I don't know. I don't know what what that deal is. You know what I'm saying? So. You know the specifics of your situation, you know, it's just moving forward as an artist, you can't be dealing with stuff like that. Stuff happens, we all have to work with personalities and people and their situations, whatever, whatever the situation, the situation is, is. You, you, you need what works work best, best for you, you it's what's going to be reliable, reliable for you as the artist, because on, on that balance board, you've got, got a lot of stuff already, and, and, and for the, the captain of the ship like that to jump off the boat is a hard one to have to grab the oh. wheel. That's an understatement. <laughs> but it is what it is, man. Like I said, everything happens for a reason, and uh, we don't keep pushing forward. Absolutely, absolutely. So very nice, Nico. So now the song's going to release July 2nd. You're going to go ahead and be able to market that, market that material, and just mm -hmm. create, create buzz to then create excitement for the music mm -hmm. video coming up. Yes, yes. I'm actually yeah. going to do that this week, so you're going to see a lot of content on my okay. Instagram as far as promo. Very nice, Nico. And how are you staying inspired as an artist right now and keeping moving forward? You, know, you just had this big thing take place, and you're still staying here and looking strong. So, you know, how you, what are you doing to stay inspired? Um, man, I just it's just the love of music, man. It's just I don't really know, man. It's just that's all it is. Seeing this is music, man. That's it, bro. Just the love of music and love of good music and love of seeing other people enjoy good music the way it makes them feel the way it makes them go about their everyday life and that's my inspiration right there man for real it's all, it's all about the music mm -hmm. you're a true artist man you're a true musician and and, and that's why it's, it's exciting that you're putting out this work man we can't let it stop you man you keep it keep producing man Do the people the artists like you that stay true to that stuff you know, you look up to artists that are always remaining uh, ambiguous and, and because they want to get noticed for their work, and that just says a lot about you as the artist. And there's a lot of people who respect that. So it's very exciting to have the track coming track out July, July 2nd. July 2nd, man. Make sure y'all tune in. July 2nd, Body. It's going to be out on all streaming platforms, man. I can't wait for y'all to hear this one. All my fans, all my supporters, I can't wait for y'all to hear to hear this revised and revamped song, so y'all gonna enjoy it for real. Been working with 88 and 8 once again, the collaboration, the dynamic duo. Yes, yes. Very nice. Shout out to 88 and 8. Absolutely. And he, just, he, just had, he just had his first uh, child born um, not too long ago, so congrats to him, man. His first congrats to him. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's dope. Blessing. Absolute blessing. <clears throat> Hey man, Nico, for people who haven't seen our first interview, man, you grew up as a musician. You you were a born and raised uh, artist, basically, right? You grew up in the church playing music, listening to music. Yeah, man. I grew up in the church. Grew up in, my mom was a pastor, minister, bishop. Um, so music has been around me, you know, all of my life. I would say, no, well, not all of my life, just in the church. Um seeing her sing, because I was, you know, me, I was very quiet, very quiet and very shy and, and just absorbing everything and um, absorbing my surroundings. And, you know, my mother, she always knew I could sing, but I never showed her I could sing. You know how mothers are, mother's intuition. But I was just so shy and, you know, she would always be singing and stuff. And I don't know, I just, you know, <clears throat> absorbed everything and, and came out of my shell as I got older. And you know? here you are now, a full, a full running musician. You got work everywhere. In the flesh, bro. In the flesh. <laughs> Can we talk a little bit about that, man? What's it like having to be an artist today and manage the social side of it, the social media, the press, the marketing, on top of producing all the work? Well, for me, man, I'm, I consider myself a private person, just period. So I don't want to know people I don't want to let people in, 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 you know what I mean? So, you know, I just give people what, what I want them to see per se, but, um, you know, being an artist, if, 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 if I wasn't an artist, I'd probably be somewhere just hiding <laughs> for real. It's just me, man. I just, you know, it just you a lot of other people, you know, and just pop up here and there. You know, I wish artists can do that nowadays, you know, and just, Cause you know, I just want that stuff to be about the music, and not about how you look and what you're wearing and and 
how many likes you're getting and all that other, you know what I'm saying? All that other stuff, you know? So, but now, nowadays, that's what's relevant and you have to keep up with that. But like I said, if, it, if, if I wasn't an artist, I'll be just hiding. It would just pop up when I want to, you know what I mean? And You used to be able to sort of do something like that. And now it feels like you have to be available have to, 100%. You have to go. You ha- absolutely have to if you're an artist. You have to be posting all the time and and, and keep people in, keep people engaged and you know. Because um, me, think it's I'm taking. On, <clears throat> keep going. With, with with me, I post probably like every two weeks or every week. That's just me. You know, I don't post like every other day. I'm just I'm just a private person. You know, so. Yeah. Do you think it takes away from the work all the people that have to produce and be, you know, it's, what's interesting is back then people had teams that sort of would do that and it was a little bit easier to have that team do that for the small people who got discovered. Now it seems like everybody has to do that and that requires a lot of extra time that we, we invented more technology, but we didn't invent more time. So now it's like we have to divide the music and the rehearsals with the social side of it. You think mm-hmm. it's taken away a little bit from the music? Hopefully, you know, you think it's going to take away from the, the, the great songs that we had back then? Um, I would say, no, I would say that. Um, you think music will keep moving I'll forward? Say, I'll say that, you know, um, with with that, it gives people a more personal, personable side of you. You know, to seeing the behind the scenes and seeing the day to day, and it's 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 getting the viewers to get to know you. And um, I, I understand that, but you know, I just want you to hear the music. You know, it, it's a lot of hard work that comes into it to putting stuff together and and say if you have a show and and you're getting the show together and you're getting all the musicians and the dancers together. It's a lot of work that puts into that, but, um, you know, it's, it all depends on the the artist, you know, if you want people to, to, to see that and, 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 um, to view that. And for me, you know, I just want to put it, put the music out, put the, the video out and, let people enjoy that but nowadays people want to be more personable and make make you uh want to see the the uh, what it took to get to where they at what it took to make that video what it took to make that song you know etc <clears throat> but you're a private person so you're balancing the the maintaining your privacy yeah, with yeah that. I'm, that's i'm still trying to balance that still i'm still trying to find a balance between both you know trying to find a balance of how much I want to present to the people. And does that keep you up at night sometimes when you say, man, I should be way more available on the web. Absolutely. Absolutely. 110%. It keeps me up because I don't want to lose interest in people, you know, and still, you know, keep my mental state, you know, keep it healthy. So, um, right. Like I said, it's it's a balance, man. Still, I'm still trying to find a balance. The balance, I think, comes from just the artist and the person because there's always going to be more likes, more followers, more views, and 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 to mm-hmm. maintain that is like, you know, the biggest artists today they pay to go viral. You know, the the truth is, the people who are getting the most views, some of that stuff can be trash, but they their teams are putting in a million dollars just into advertising it on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Next thing you know, all the it multiplies like wildfire. How can you compete? You can't be up seventy two hours a week and compete. It's 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 all a numbers game. Yes, it's all it is. It's all a numbers game to get people to you know be intrigued oh he has 200 million views on his music video so let me pay attention to him who is that you know this you know just to keep people engaged keep people to like you and you know you know man (laughs) i know man i know (laughs) 
Hey man, well, hopefully we find the balance with that because I think at a certain point that whole that whole system is going to crack and there's going to be something different that offers people a different way of just going directly to the artist. I hope so. I absolutely hope so. I hope something different to where it can be. It don't have to be. That don't have to be the the end all be all. It can be something more easier and more. It can be. How about this? It could be all about the music, the talent, and not about how I look, or what I'm wearing, <laughs> or what you're having for breakfast every day. Yeah, what you're having for breakfast, none of that. Or what your thoughts are on this and that. Yeah, it could be about the talent. That's it. July 2nd is the release. Yeah, yeah, all, man. All, all yeah. platforms? All platforms. All platforms. I'm excited. Man, I'm how, excited. man, that's that is exciting. And and how long was it in the work since we last spoke to you? Was was body something um, you were working on? It's truthful truthfully it's it's a song that I did I did two years ago. And um I did it two two years ago. A friend of mine, he uh he actually wrote it. A friend of mine named eighty eight and eight. He wrote the song and um Eighty Eight Day. Yeah, he he, he wrote the song. And um, I had it on a previous project before, and people have been asking me about this song so much. And so I was like, man, let me revise and revamp it and and uh, put it out again, you know, put it out, put it out again, but just, you know, revised, revised version of it because people have been asking for this song to, to shoot a video to it and, and put it out as a single. So, yeah, man, you know what? Sometimes. Out, Sometimes to do that even makes it that much better because that's the thing. You put out the song, you get a little excitement, but then mm -hmm. there's nothing to say you can't jump back in there and make a couple of little tweaks to really make it happen. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm really excited been excited about this one because I feel like this is, you know, in my lane and what I do in singing R&B, I feel like this is, this is a vibe. This is one of the ones, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, and it's it's you let it you let it kind of sit and season and come together. Mm -hmm. Two years, you know. It, sometimes when you come back to things with that, it, it, there's something that happens with that. It all seasons with the artist as well, and, and you sort of realize, man, there's something really special with this. We need to jump back into it and, and re-release. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so what did this conversation look like with eighty eight <clears throat> Nate? You know, you see, you guys had a conversation. You know, you guys were like, "Hey, man, I've been I play this." People are asking for it. Let's let's do it. Well, you know, I, and on a on a previous project that I had, um, I had about seven songs, and the most popular songs was a song that I did called "Temporary Love," and this song right here, uh, "Body." Um, but I never really, you know, I never paid attention to it. I just put out "Temporary Love," and but I still get messages about man. When you gonna put that your body out? When you gonna put that body out? When you gonna put? I'm like, okay, all right. Let me let me let me revise it. Let me do a little tweaks and you know twists and turns, and let me just put this out. But how it um me and him came about? He actually presented me with it, and you know he he sent me a reference, and I was like, ooh, okay, this is this is this is fire. And I'm like, all right, this is right up my lane. <clears throat> and the way he sequenced it, the way he structured it, um, yeah, he did his thing. <laughs> he, he, he gave you a different version that was sort of an idea of what you guys could take it to, and it got you excited. Well, he, he, it was more of a, a, a reference, like a reference track. You know, got you. He, record, he recorded it on his, you know, he's not a singer, so he... Uh, I got you. <clears throat> He did a reference track, and I just, I just, you know, made it my own. Very nice. And so, so, eighty eight Nate wrote the song, and you gave mm -hmm. it your, your twist. You gave it your, your spin, your own spin with it. Absolutely. Very nice. And you've worked Absolutely. with you, you've worked with eighty eight Nate before. You guys are, have already made collaborations. So doing that yeah. collaboration and making that investment as the artist is, isn't difficult for you <clears throat> with with him. Um. No. You know, me and him, we've been friends for quite a while now. Um, 
and you know he's he, he's a he's a rapper at first, but he's a a damn good songwriter. Um, and he just always had that that niche for just songwriting for R and B artists, and um, just how he just has that ear and, and that sound to what you know this generation of R and B listeners would like to listen to. So, yeah. Who are some of your inspirations right now to, with R&B? What are you listening to right now that's been keeping you excited? Um, what I'm listening to right now, it's, a good, it's good that you ask that, is uh, the artist Her. Um, Her, and she just put out an album called Back of My Mind. I've been listening to that religiously. I just feel like Her, um, crazy. Her, that's her name. Her is... Um, I feel like she's uh, in her own lane, and she's very, very, she's very young, but she's very inspiring. She's, I think she's just turned 24 today, but she's very, very, um, very, very inspiring. In her own lane, you know, can we talk a little bit about that, why it's important to, why do you like it that she's in her own lane? How is she in her own lane? Um, because she's all about the music. Um, because when she first came out, is that, she um she just she didn't want to know people who who she was as far as appearance so her album was a, a silhouette and you didn't know who she was in appearance wise and you know i was seeing in the interviews that she just wanted it to be about the music she didn't want it to be about her appearance because you know when she first came out People was hearing all this good music, and people was like, "Who is that? Who is that? Where can I Google her?" And nobody could find her because she didn't have. She just had a silhouette of her on her album cover, and not even like a figure, said, but it was a silhouette. Yeah, it was just a silhouette of her, and she just like I just wanted wanted it to be about the the, uh, the music instead of because you know you know in, in social media you know everything is about visual visual eyes and visual and listening with our eyes it seems to be the case music, you know and not about Absolutely. the talent instead of the you know the it's not about the talent anymore it's about the appearance so that's why what i respect about her so much because she's all about the music absolutely and you don't and you know it's kind of funny to think you know Millie Vanilli, you know, they had the great singers in the background, and then they had these guys in the front play that, and they were all a team, and, and the, the guys who were lip-syncing were the ones that took all the blame, but, I mean, that was all complicated. That's before all that stuff ever happened, you know? Right. People weren't really, like... But that's how those guys got approached, and they were mad that they couldn't sing, and they didn't let them sing, but that's what's happening today. That, that Back then was sort of what we have today. They just want you to look good, and if you have the look... They'll just present you sometimes with with something you gotta ride with. But it sounds like with with this artist you're speaking about, she's completely the captain of her. She's the captain of her own ship, and and that's really inspiring. Yeah, it's really really dope. She's incredibly talented. Um, like I and said, that's what you want with her career. Her name is like I said. Her name is her. H e r. So very nice. Very nice. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely, Nico. Like, like always, it's been an absolute pleasure. Man, it's always a pleasure, man. Thank you for having me again. Like right, I said, okay. Body comes out this Friday, July second. It's gonna be on all streaming platforms. Make sure y'all go listen. All right, you guys. Make sure you guys go listen, Nico. What are your social media uh, platforms? Um, you can find me on Instagram at n i c o underscore b l e u. You can find me on Facebook, N I C O B L E U. And yeah, let's get it. Body, let's July 2nd. Body, body, you guys, check it out. July 2nd. All right, Nico. All right, peace. <laughs>